Oh no. <gasps> oh my God, that's so good. I had no idea. Oh, it's like eating a bath bomb. If you don't know what that tastes like, then I don't know how to help you. Isn't it beautiful? So for some reason, I'm gonna be eating everything on the menu at Greg's today because the internet, apparently. So I grew up in Newcastle upon Tyne. It's where the original Greg's was set up on Gosforth High Street. It's very popular, very affordable. I sing Greg's praises more than anyone. And I think I'm the right person to do this challenge. Let's go. You know when people say, talk about your proudest moment, I don't want to jinx it, but this is, this is up there. It's quite heavy. When people go, Tom, what do you do for work today? This, this. This is what it is. This is what I'm doing. It smells amazing. I'm so excited. It's quite heavy though. We did it, I'm back, I'm here. Here we go. One, two, three, four. All right, well, here we are, I guess. It's all been a bit of a blur. I'm in a fever dream and all of a sudden I have the entirety of Greg's at my behest. And last but not least, banana. Here it is. Isn't it beautiful? It looks like an awful lot when it's in front of you like this, to be honest. Oh, actually, I have something to show you. The receipt. It's as long as this table, 140 pounds and 40 pence. We have everything here on the menu at Greg's. They're actually surprisingly well stocked. I thought to do a video like this that we were at least not gonna have something. The only things we don't have are branded drinks that Greg's themselves don't make that they just sell, um, the coffees and the breakfast items because we went there after 11 o'clock. Everything else that Greg's could possibly sell is on this table right now. Just to clarify, I'm not gonna eat the whole of every item that would be both physically impossible and quite questionable from a health perspective. So I'm gonna be trying a bite of every single thing. Don't worry, none of it's gonna get wasted. Um, can I just say, uh, I think I've done a really good job of setting this out. Like, th these baguettes all going in the same line, that's no accident. The other thing, just to mention, is that they haven't labeled what each thing is. So I'm gonna do my best to ascertain what each object is, but I predict that a lot of them are gonna look the same and I might not know until I bite it. Number one is, by the looks of things, the nacho chili cheese bake. I've actually never had this, so we're starting off with something new, so. Mm-hmm. Oh. I like the nacho chili cheese bake. It's sort of like pasty inside, can you see that? It's spicier than you'd think, but not so spicy that it's unpleasant. This is good. I actually would eat the whole thing, but I know I've got a lot more to come, so. One down, nacho chili cheese bake, first time, very nice. One of my personal favorites, the pizza. This is the margarita pizza, delicious. What I like about the Greg's pizza is it's square, like the pizza you get at school, and the tomato sauce is like pretty sweet. 10 out of 10, love it. Mm. Oh my God, what's actually really difficult about this is I'm only gonna be able to eat a little bit of each thing. I wanna eat this whole thing. Pizza, delicious. Oh, number three, and we're already at the most famous. The Greg sausage roll. I'm just gonna be, I'm gonna keep it 100 with everyone, I'm gonna be honest. I actually don't like sausage rolls that much. I know that's controversial, that's ridiculous. Tom, why are you even the person doing this video if you don't like sausage rolls? I don't dislike them, I just think they're a bit bland. I think Greg's has better things to offer. Having said that, they are good. Mm. Tastes like home. It's a sausage roll. What do you want me to say? The backbone of Greg's, if you will, the spine. Indiscriminate square pastry number one. I think this is the sausage bean and cheese melt because I can see into it slightly. But only one way to find out. Mm-hmm, yeah. Oh, I thought I didn't like this, but this is good. If you've never seen the inside of a sausage bean and cheese melt, it's like the same sausage that you get in a sausage roll and then literally like baked beans. It's weird, but it's really good. Okay, this has a chevron design and it's really well filled. I don't know what that means this is. Potentially a chicken or steak bake. We'll find out. Mm -mm. Cheese and onion bake. I've also never had this before. It's, um, again, it's like very like, kind of like pasty and soupy inside. I think I prefer things that have like, that has bits of stuff. This is just sort of like 
mashed potato in pastry, but it's good. Yeah. Okay. Indiscriminate. Oh! You know what I've noticed? The first pastry had lines on it. The second square pastry had chevrons on it. And this one has a kind of like bird design. I think this is the way of telling between what, which bake is which. Producer, is there such a thing as a vegetable bake? And it's a bit spicy as well. That's, oh, so good. This next one is number seven and it comes in a vegan friendly bag, meaning that this is some kind of vegan thing. I think this is gonna be the vegan steak bake. Let's find out. Yeah, that's really good. It's, if you just told me that was a regular steak bake, I wouldn't know the difference. I don't know what they use for the meat substitute, but it actually has the texture of beef. So it's very impressive. I like that a lot. Vegans, I recommend it. And non-vegans, whoever. I think I might have to have a drink. So which one shall I have first? Ooh, the sparkling raspberry lemonade. That sounds so good. Made with real fruit juice, no added sugar. Delicious. Oh my God, that's so good. I had no idea. I always never really got the, great, the drinks from Greg's. I've got coffee there before, but never the raspberry lemonade. This is amazing. Ah, there's nothing I haven't really liked yet. Actually, no, I didn't really like the cheese and onion thing. Whatever. Another pizza! This is the pepperoni pizza. It's just like the margarita pizza, but with pepperoni on it, which I guess is just what all pizza is like. Hmm. So good. If you gave this to me in a blind pizza taste test against other pizza establishments, I would know this a mile off. I'm telling you right now. It's so good. Oh, it's so good. Wow. I'm guessing by the shape, we have a Cornish pasty. Ding! Look at it. It's like a little, a little rhino. Mm-hmm. I love Cornish pasties. Greg's is, of course, from the Northeast. Cornish pasties are from the Southwest. I think Cornish people would argue that this isn't like the apex Cornish pasty, but I think it's pretty damn good. <clears throat> but what do I know? I'm from the Northeast. Delicious! Item number 10, we've reached double digits, guys. Double digits. Everyone hold on to your hats. Okay, this one has wavy lines on it. I think that means something else, but I don't know what. Let's find out. Mm. Nope. This is the chicken one. It's just like white, just like stuff. I don't like it. Nope. It's weird. Oh, that texture's so off. Oh, I know what this is. The object of controversy, the center of news stories, the vegan sausage roll. God, it looks completely different to the regular sausage roll. I've never had this yet, so I'm, I'm intrigued. Oh my God. <laughs> no. The vegan sausage isn't the problem. The, the fact that the pastry doesn't have butter in it makes it a lot. The pastry is more akin to like shortbread. It's not bad. It's not my favorite. It's okay. I commend Greg's for their vegan offerings. I support the vegan sausage roll, despite not really liking it very much. Okay, this is, I have no idea what this is. Just a vegan steak bake? Oh, I know, I know what happened. The one I was so surprised was a vegan steak bake because it felt like meat. Regular steak bake, this is the vegan steak bake, I'm sorry. That's really good. If you just told me that was a regular steak bake, I wouldn't know the difference. I don't know what they use for the meat substitute, but it actually has the texture of beef. A lot of the things at Greg's look the same. Vegan steak bake. You can tell it's like bitty. You see? I don't like this. Vegan steak bake, I don't like it. I, I appreciate that it's a vegan offering. Again, I think that's great. I personally, not a fan. I'm gonna get the crisps out of the way. Cheese puffs. Strikingly similar to a different brand of Puffed corn snack. Honest review, cheese puffs, not very cheesy. Cheese, four out of 10. Puff, 10 out of 10. Next, sea salt and cider vinegar, hand-cooked crisps. Mm, much better. Exceeding my expectations, these are fabulous. That's great. Chili tortilla chips. Again, very similar to a branded offering. Mm. They're good. Mature cheddar and onion, hand-cooked crisps. Mm. 
Yeah. They're fine. Would the cheese and onion crisps go well with the cheese and onion pasty? Maybe. Might give it a bit more, a bit more something something, you know what I'm saying? Okay, crisps are done. Sparkling cloudy lemonade. Ah, what a beautiful sound. I don't think I like this. It's fine, it does taste like lemonade, but it's kind of like that sort of lemon-like that you get in like an industrial cleaner. Yeah, cloudy lemonade, not my favorite. I'm gonna try the still strawberry water. I think it's weird. It's like, if the powers that be wanted water to taste like fruit, then it would. So you know when they put lemon in water at restaurants? I don't know, I'm not about that. So, but we'll, you know, open mind, whatever. <coughs> so sorry. Still strawberry water, let's go. Oh, nah, ugh, no. <sighs> Next up, <laughs> still lemon and lime water. I think this might be better than the strawberry one, but I don't know. Again, yeah, it is a lot better, but I still don't really like it. Like, something about still water and being flavored, I find really weird. Now, sparkling mango and pineapple. This sounds all right. Oh my God, oh, it's a bloodbath. I'm literally so wet. <sighs> Brief recess as I spilled this everywhere. That's quite nice. A sparkling cherry aid, I have high hopes for this. Not again, not like this. We're good. Mm, I don't know actually, I don't like that very much. It's very, very like fake cherry flavor. I know someone that would love this though. I'll keep it for them. Oh, a fair trade apple juice. How could we go wrong? Yep. Yeah. That's a bottle of apple juice. Right, soup, somebody soup, soup. Tomato soup, let's go. Oh, 10 out of 10. A cold winter's day or when you're at home not feeling very well. It's comforting and homely and delicious. What's the other soup then? Vegetable, perhaps? It doesn't say. I don't know what kind of soup this is. This is the chicken and red pepper soup. It's good, I like it. I prefer the tomato soup. This is a bit more, I don't know, a bit more controversial, a bit more, has a more of a je ne sais quoi. And I don't like it, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's fine. Greg's potato wedges, they've got some kind of seasoning on them. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really like potato wedges. I find them dry, but, so if I don't like these, it's not Greg's fault, it's just potato wedges' fault. Yep, yep, no, yeah. Sorry, no. Next from the hot range, chicken goujons. I've never had these. They're from that funny thing. You know, it looks like a fridge, but it's hot, like a heater, I guess. And they just sort of kind of sit in there, like stewing all day. I don't know how I feel about that. So, time to try. Oh my God, I was wrong. I'm sorry. These are really good. Oh, I thought they were gonna be like hella bland. They are really seasoned and a bit spicy. Huh. Goujons, fabulous. Okay, barbecue chicken bites. Mm, I don't like these very much. Okay, not for me. This is the Southern Fried Chicken Baguette. I think if I ate the whole thing, it would start to get pretty bland and like the same by the end, but it's fine. Chipotle chili steak. Let's go for it. There is like a sort of like smoky chili sauce in there, but it does not taste anything like Chipotle does. It isn't unpleasant, but it, it isn't what it says it is. Next up is the ham and chicken melt. Something about that to me just sounds gross. That's so pink. Like, look how pink it is. Mm. <laughs> I don't like it. It's like tandoori chicken as well, so it's just like a really weird mix. Barbecue chicken and bacon toasty. <coughs> it is a nightmare in there. As toasties go, this is, this is, this is a bit disappointing. Oh, lost a bit of bacon. Tom, just eat it there, it's done. Oh, well, it actually tastes really good. The most grim looking so far by a country mile. The ham and cheese. I feel equal amounts of despair for this one. Yeah, yeah, oh, it's the same. Hoba! It's so hot. Like it tastes really good. It's just like quite like, like floppy. Like that's ridiculous. This is the Mexican, Mexican chicken baguette. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm, oh my God. It tastes suspiciously like 
what I imagine the tandoori chicken to taste like. Tuna and sweet corn. I don't see how this could be bad. Um, it's a tuna sweet corn baguette. Yeah. I love tuna so much. If I was really hungry now, which increasingly I'm not, that would be really nice and I'd eat that whole thing in five minutes. It's cheese salad, woo! Yeah. Oh, actually, yeah. As a cheese salad sandwich goes, it's very flavorful. I don't know why. I would never get a cheese salad baguette. That's just boring, but yeah, it's fine. It feels so crazy to eat baguette after baguette after baguette. Tandoori chicken, by the way. That's a baguette. Excuse me. Yeah. Oh my God. Tandoori chicken, best baguette so far. That's delicious. This is a chicken and bacon salad baguette. Chicken and bacon, so tuna crunch. Let's go. It's so much onion. Like, do you not think that's an absolutely obscene amount of red onion to have in a sandwich? <laughs> what is that? You hear it? That's an onion. It does taste good though. Uh, this is oh, this is cheese and ham. Fine. Can I be honest? A bit sparse. It's cheese and ham and bread. Like, if you don't know what that tastes like, then I don't know how to help you. This is the chicken mayo, a sandwich that I famously avoid because I just think it looks creepy. Like, oh, no, 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 no. Anyway, let's eat it. Yeah. It tastes all right. I'm not feeling full, but I do feel tired. Like, I feel like I could take a nap right now. I know I can't but that's just to update you on my current state. Let's have these wraps. So here we have the vegan Mexican bean wrap. Looks all right, I guess. Kind of like a bean salad in the tortilla. That is all lettuce. A spicy lettuce wrap, if you're into that kind of thing. Mexican chili chicken wrap. I have higher hopes for this one. Oh no, I don't know why, but Greg seems to think that Mexican chili and like tandoori chili of the same flavor, and they're just not. Right, fine, woo, sub rolls, sub rolls. Sorry, I'm just having to really like hype myself up here because I feel so sleepy. Sub rolls, chicken mayo again, which I really don't like, but let's go, woo, 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 woo. Yep, chicken mayo. Same as a baguette, but in a sub roll. I'm, I'm tapping into the same headspace. You know when you're a kid and you have to like have a medicine that you don't like, you just have to like knock it back. That's the, me with this sandwich. I think it's ham salad or something, but it's like also got um, cut up eggs and like, I just, I hate like this. I really do. God. You've got the soft of bread. Then you've got like the kind of pulpiness of a tomato. And then you've got like the sort of meaty ham, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you got this rubbery albumin that just has no place in a sandwich. No, a Plowman's, big fan. Love a Plowman's sandwich, feel like there's a lot of history in a Plowman's. Mmm. Mmm. For the first time today, an appearance of chutney. Can you believe it? It only took us 50,000 sandwiches. This is a Mexican chicken. I feel the same way about this as I did with the Mexican chicken when it was in the baguette. I don't really like it, and it tastes just like tandoori chicken. I think this is the char grilled chicken. It is very pink looking. I'll show you. Pink, so, so pink. Are you seeing that? It sort of tastes like chicken. I'm sorry for my altogether lukewarm reception to the sub rolls. I just like think they're quite mediocre. Like, yeah, the sandwiches, they're okay. I wouldn't, I wouldn't write home about it, but they're fine, they're sandwiches. Chicken and bacon pasta. I famously enjoy a um, pasta salad offering. That's a spoon. Oh, fork included, great. I will use the included fork. I'd like to talk about something for a second. When you get fork included situations and then you have to deal with this, like what's... They don't make it easy. Why stick it to the fork? Sorry, I lost myself for a moment there. It's this miscellaneous orange chicken again. Seems to be making quite the appearance these days. Nope. Tastes like PVA glue. 
Everything's falling apart. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna check in with you here. I'm beginning to struggle. I only have a couple of pastas and then I'm onto the sweet things. Feta and tomato pasta. So we've got tomato, it's got pepper in there, let's get some of that. Bit of spinach and a bit of feta. Woo! Mmm. 10 times better than the chicken and bacon one. Final pasta, woo! Tuna crunch, let's go. A right, bit of everything. It's all right. I don't think I get it again. It's a little bit dry, I think. Naked nuts, just nuts and nothing else. We've got cashews, almonds, and peanuts by the looks of things. Yep, those are nuts. Tropical fruits, ooh, what we got? <clears throat> Okay, so as a kid, I used to love dried pineapple. Here we've got dried mango, dried pineapple, and dried coconut. I'm into all of that. It's like a pina colada. Oh, it's like a little piece of home. I love dried pineapple. Um, these. Oh no. <gasps> okay, these are raspberry and almond bakes. I hate almonds so much. The actual almond like f f nuts themselves are fine, but you know like marzipan. And they're bite sized, so I'm just gonna eat the whole thing. So this is basically like a Bakewell bite. <laughs> oh. I ate it. Oh, that's f***ing horrible. It's not Greg's fault. I just think that marzipan is evil. Oh, that good. Would you like a brownie? Can I just throw it at you? Oh my God, there we go, it's fine. Yay, have a brown, they're good. Melt in the mouth, you might say. Belgian chocolate chunk shortbreads. I actually love shortbread. I've never had shortbread with, with um, chocolate on it before. Yeah, actually no, it's good, it's good, I like it. The icon, the legend, the man, the myth, gingerbread man. Looks quite hard. I'm right, go for the head. Oh my God. It's so crunchy, is this right? Jammy heart biscuit, I'm gonna break it and then eat a bit of the, the this, so I can kind of get it all. It's like a posh jammy dodger. That's what it's like. This is a double chocolate chip cookie and it actually feels very kind of soft. Mm. Yeah, it's amazing. Oh my God, they're so good. Oh, I'm very impressed. Delicious cookie there, Greg's. Nice. Another chocolate chip cookie, but I'm sure this will be equally as soft. Uh, look at that, clean break. Oh God, that, that's so good. I actually might go so far as to say this is the best chocolate chip cookie I've ever had. The outside's like slightly crispy, the middle is like doughy and it's almost like it's been fried. I don't know how to describe it. There's loads of stuff I just said about it. Yum, yum. It's a kind of like pastry dough, cronut donut iced thing. And it's just, it's so good. It's amazing. Let's give you a good look at it. These are, you know, your bakery classics. These are, these have probably been served in Greg since the days of yore. Okay, so this is the iced jammy donut. I don't see why you need to put icing on a jam donut. It's already a sweet dough. It's already full of jam, and then you're gonna ice it as well. Does it look cute though? <laughs> Let's find the um, the entry area where maybe I'll get the best jam payoff. Hard to tell when it's iced. Let's go there. Good gosh. Way too sugary, I hate it. Oh, it's like eating a bath bomb. This is the um, Strand Donut. It's hundreds and thousands, it's iced. Yeah, chocolate ring donut. Hmm, that's better. Something about the chocolate means it's kind of slightly bitter. I mean, not a lot, but like more so than this. This is like proper like, Homer Simpson like cartoon donut and I just can't get on board with that. But this actually is chocolatey and a bit better. So I prefer this, this is good. Iced ring donut, I believe this is. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say, I don't think it's gonna taste massively different to the other three donuts I've just had, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, it looks nice though. It's got a good sheen on it, I'll give it that. See that, you getting that? Lovely. Tottenham cake. I don't know why it's called Tottenham Cake. I think that's an adorable name. Ooh, cake. Oh, where's that? I don't know what it is. I mean, this is proper, like, something you get at school, isn't it? This, custard, mince, and then, like, mashed potato out of an ice cream scoop. That's this. Let's go. That's actually quite nice. The fruit inside really saves it. 
It makes it taste more interesting. I thought it was just gonna be another like sugary bread thing. Okay, next, a, uh, I think this is a triple chocolate donut. I assume it's triple because it's chocolate icing on top, chocolate curls on top of that, and then chocolate in the middle. Oh no, sorry, I'm wrong. It's cream in the middle. Oh. Jam donut, simple, delicious. I actually love jam donuts. That's so good. There's nothing not to love about a jam donut. I think they're fabulous. This is an apple Danish. Mm. Oh my God, that's actually, that's so good. I love that. I, I prefer it without the icing on top because I think that just takes the sugar to like another level, but that is good. This is a lemon muffin, I believe. Mm. Oh my God. It's soft and it's moist and it's like gooey. Amazing. Who knew? Chocolate muffin. Mm. Mm. Yeah. You know what? If I was still in the mood to eat sweet things, that would be lovely. Okay, that's it for the baked goods. So. We're at the final four items. <laughs> I'm like, which one should I choose? As if I haven't already had like 150 things. Let's go for the mango, passion fruit, and granola yogurt. So this comes off, releases the granola. Fine. Granola goes in. Stirry stir. I guess I need to get some with the bottom layer. That's really good. And not massively sugary, which let me tell you, is a relief. Strawberry and granola yogurt. I imagine this will be very similar to the previous granola yogurt. Oh my God. BRB, I just have yogurt in my eye. I do like the process. Oh, I missed, because I was trying to be funny. <laughs> also, the granola looks kind of grown up, you know? It's got like, I'm seeing sunflower seeds. I'm seeing some other kind of seeds. Great way to start your morning off. You've got a bit of carbs there. Complex and simple, sugar and oats, you know? You've got like a protein yogurt. Um, yeah, this is nice. I like it a lot. All I've got left to eat are the mixed grapes and a banana. I'm sincerely hoping at this point you don't want me to review grapes. With their grapes. Can we put some kind of dramatic music over this bit? Because I feel like we've been through a lot here today and it only seemed fitting to put the banana at the end. Because I feel like that's quite funny. Ah, <sighs> I did it. Look, the table's empty, finished. Oh my God. Okay. <clears throat> I did it. How many items later? Like a hundred or something? Oh, favorite item. Pepperoni pizza. My favorite item on the Greg's menu is the pepperoni pizza. I don't care. I don't know what the social reaction to that is gonna be, but that's the thing I like the most. A good size, the cheese is nice. There's something about the tomato sauce on a Greg's pizza which just slaps. My very much well-informed opinion is that the best thing on the Greg's menu is the pepperoni pizza. I can now walk into Greg's and someone can be like, oh, what do you think that's like? And I will know whether or not it's good because <laughs> I've eaten it. I've eaten all of it. Still love Greg's? Of course, of course I still love Greg's. I mean, to be honest, I may not go back for a little while because I feel like I've had my fill of it. 150 pounds worth of baked goods. I feel like we've been on a journey, you know? Like we went through the, the valley of the pasties and then we went over the river of hot sandwiches and then through the forest of cake. And then we arrived at the final, you know, pot of gold, which actually was just a pot of grapes. Can you believe it? I'm still going. Give me a real challenge next time. <laughs>